The first beta version of Android 14 has been released by Google with improved navigation and privacy features. Let's talk about this new release on our channel, Tech Talk and Beauty. It will be fun. Hi everyone. Today we have two beauties with you, which means you're on the Tech Talk and Beauty channel. My name is Mindy. And my name is Cindy, and we're happy to welcome you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and tell your friends about it. We love to see smart people who keep up with the latest news. Google has released the first beta version of the Android 14 operating system with a range of new features focused on system navigation, privacy, productivity, and personalization. Additionally, Google has updated the gesture navigation, now offering a more prominent back arrow in the material you style, which can be customized according to the device's theme or wallpaper. This arrow is intended to help users better understand the predictive back gesture in Android 14. Android 14 also introduces a new system screen for accessing content. The new table allows developers to add customizable actions for specific apps to the top of the overall menu. Additionally, more app signals are used to determine where goals of direct exchange should be ranked, which appear at the top of the page. In the first beta version of Android 14, new graphical features such as transformation effects and expanded language settings have been added, which automatically adjust applications to support language settings for each program separately. Privacy improvements now allow apps to limit the visibility of confidential data to special capabilities services. These requirements will be checked by Google Play Protect. Google expects that these new privacy protection tools can be used to prevent actions such as accidental money transfers or in-app purchases. Users who want to try out the Android 14 beta version can follow the instructions on the Android developer's website. Supported devices include Pixel 4a, 5G, Pixel 5 and 5a, Pixel 6 and 6 Pro, Pixel 6a, Pixel 7 and 7 Pro. Hey, Mindy, isn't Google talking too much about privacy? The more they talk, the more we understand that where there's smoke, there's fire. You're absolutely right. It's that strange moment when something appears in Android much later than in iOS. Although I'm also curious when this functionality will appear in Windows. It would be really convenient to be able to send to Telegram or email through the Send menu. Do you remember our friends talking about the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra? When they get this update on their phone, let's go test it out together. Of course, let's go. It's interesting to compare with iPhone privacy. What do you think about these updates? Share your thoughts in the comments. Also, tell us what devices you have, what you use, and what gadgets you would like to see on the Tech Talk and Beauty channel subscribe and like you were with mindy and cindy we love you all and kiss everyone